Hello everyone and welcome to our newest update video. My name is Jake, the voice part, and I am the lead writer for the Timesplitters Rewind team. Well, let's start off with a bit of good news. It only took us a few months to get this video out. Not too shabby. So, we've essentially had the largest growth the Rewind team has ever seen. The reception to the last video was overall very positive, but not only just in terms of viewership, our team has grown significantly, nearly quadrupling in size. Later on we'll be showing off what they've been up to, but for now, let's just dig into a few things. Since the update, we've been ramping up the team overall, focusing on hitting our goals for release. We released a significant amount of blockouts, set up functionality for new game modes, created new weapons, characters, and more. The sheer amount of work we have achieved is leagues beyond our past work speed. Beyond additions to some of the core systems, we've also been hard at work on a character select screen, although it's not exactly ready to be shown, so look forward to that at a later date. So before showing off what some of the team has been up to in terms of art and our new team members, we want to answer some common questions. Essentially, we are hoping to put some things to rest, so let's get started. So first off, Will Timesplitters Rewind be available outside of PC? For example, PS4? Well, no. As much as we'd love to, it's not feasible for our team. Put simply, there are a lot of costs attached to getting necessary hardware for that type of work, among other things. If this changes, we would obviously let the community know. Will the game be free, and why don't you guys do a Kickstarter already? Number one, yes, it will be 100% free, with no strings attached on whatever platform we release. So naturally, we want to be sure we release it in a way that does justice to the work done. It has and always will be free. That's pretty hard set. This is also why we will not do a Kickstarter. At least, we don't have any current plans to do so. Does the team get paid? Not in the slightest. The idea is that Rewind can help people develop experience in order to work in the industry, to have their work showcased in a project of this scale, or just to have fun and work in a passion project. When can we play it? We'll cover that at a time when it makes sense. Even internally, some of the developers have not played it, so please just hang in there and be patient. Is the HUD going to be revamped, or is it remaining similar to any of the original games? We are aiming to have it close to the style of Future Perfect, but we like to revamp things where it makes sense. This is not a black and white question. There are areas still being figured out, so simply stay tuned. Update when? In all seriousness, we are aiming to have updates more frequently. Of course, this has been said in the past, but it makes more sense now considering the size of our team. Will you have X thing in the game? Well, if it's good in time split as one, there's a good chance you may see it at launch. If not, then the idea is to see it later on down the line. But as said before, we are only focusing on Time Splitters 1 content for now. That being maps, weapons, characters, and other pieces of content. So those are most of the fundamental questions we get asked. But please, feel free to drop off into our Discord server and check out the hashtag FAQ channel for more questions and answers. Otherwise, feel free to post in hashtag Rewind Development to ask your own questions. Another thing to note is we still have more positions we are looking to fulfill. They are as follows. Sound design, character art, texture art, character animators, environment art, and voice acting. However, before you get excited, close the video and apply to be a voice actor, we want to clarify that we will only be reviewing applicants in voice work who have a proper setup. This implies a high quality microphone, proper isolation of sound, and anything else that would bring your voice closer to studio quality. We do not have the resources to send anyone to a studio for a professional recording, so we need our talent to be able to engineer their sound as much as possible. If you have any questions about this, feel free to post in the Rewind Discord, which we've linked below. Otherwise, for any positions above, feel free to make a post in hashtag portfolio showcasing your work. Our last point of business is, well, our team has really grown. Let's compare. So we've gone from two level designers at the beginning of January up to five, two weapon artists up to four, zero prop artists up to four, one environment artist all the way up to ten, no character animators run up to five, a lighting artist has just joined, we've got a texture artist as well alongside an audio programmer, 
a UI designer too, a sound designer, and two weapon animators. We went from 13 all the way up to 44. Essentially from the size of an indie team up to the size of a double A studio. The team is huge and we are incredibly busy, but we could always do with more help. So that's our main point for this video update. If you are interested to see the content that the new team members have created so far, please stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching, and let me just say, it's time to split. like I've got much choice in the matter. You want me to kill everyone? Can't do, buddy! Come on, tell me what you're wearing. Ah, I mean, uh, uh, yes, Commander! Let us receive! <laughs> right on, man! It's time to save the world! 